Okay guys, good morning. A quick look to USD GPI on the four hour chart. Um, we are still in downward momentum. We all can see that right here. Uh, I wait for a break to the downside because I wanna trade with momentum uh, or a trade or a buy if we break to the upside. But we must break this area or this one for a potential buy. Okay, but I aim for a sell if we break this Meyer zone, this support on the downside. If we have enough momentum today, we can break it. It's Friday, trade less, trade, uh, trade small. Like Monday and Fridays are not the best days. It depends on the market. If we have enough momentum, we can break this zones. So I will enter if we break to the downside or I will enter if we have a strong push to the upside, a strong bullish push, and with a strong bullish push, I looking for a candle like this, you know, we need strong momentum. But for me on the four hour, it's not that clear right now. So we need to stay patient. We need to stay disciplined. Uh, it's not a problem to trade one day, uh, not or you know. So wait for the breakouts, guys. It's uh, it's key. Like now, if we take to the one, take a look to the one hour, um, to the one hour, to the one hour, we just break out this consolidation from yesterday, from the bank holiday. So yeah, there's no clear sight, but we have momentum to the downside, like I said before. So we should wait for a break. Let's take a look to the daily, to the daily. We see we push up a bit, but we reject again. So that means that price have a little pullback, like I explained in the webinar uh, yesterday with Kaifik, that we uh, have a little pullback yeah, from price because price can't fall 300 pips in one time. We have pullbacks, we have waves, and that is what we uh, also told. So let's see what happened. Okay guys, good weekend all, and uh, if you have questions, please let me know. Also for all the new members, um, we have a recorded webinar for 80 minutes in the drive. Take a look to it, it was amazing, and uh, I hear from you. Ciao!